So tell me about some of the mountains that you've climbed. And then I know you have a little bit of experience with Mount St. Helens, which um, is a volcano that erupted. Mm -hmm. So in my early days, when I was a lot, lot younger, I, I climbed Mount Whitney, which is about 14,495 feet. <clears throat> uh, climbed that several times. And I climbed Mount Shasta, these are in California which is about 14,110 feet. And then uh, later on, I climbed different mountains, but the one around Mount St. Helens, I didn't actually climb that mountain, but I climbed Mount Hood in Portland, near Portland, Oregon, and that's about 12,600 feet. And then after that, we went up to near Seattle, Washington, we climbed Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier is at four, over 14,000 feet too. And that occurred about a year and a half after Mount St. Helens erupted. So it was kind of neat that you could still see all this volcanic smoke and ash coming up from the mountain as it was going upwards. And it wasn't dangerous then at that time, but you could still see the after effects of what actually happened. But originally with Mount St. Helens in 1980, is there's a lot of pressure built up from underneath this volcano, which causes earthquakes, as you know. And every time the magma moves and tries to come up, then it usually sends earthquakes. And the earthquakes can be around three to five in magnitude. Generally not, not more than that. And then, when one of the earthquakes that hit in the early morning was maybe around a five, and it violently shook the side of the mountain, which caused a large landslide to come off. And when that landslide of all that mountain moved down, it created a lot less pressure against the magma that was coming up. And so when all that dirt and that landslide hit, the, the volcano just exploded into a violent stream of rocks and ash and magma and everything going up in the air. I remember pictures of ash just covering everything, the cars and everything, hundreds of miles from right. the actual eruption. Right, so it was kind of a, one, one of the most major volcanic events we've ever had in the United States. 